the new Mac Pro is very powerful and has a brilliant display. All enclosed in a sleek chassis. It has a humongous trackpad but the butterfly keyboard is not that reliable and no one finds any real use from the touch bar. So if you want a MacBook that you can upgrade at any time you want, look no further than the 2012 MacBook Pro. The first thing you need to do is bring it up to date and you do this by replacing the hard disk drive. First, back up your Mac using the Time Machine app in System Preferences. You're going to need a T6 and Phillips head screwdriver and any SATA 2.5 inch internal disk and a spudger which is not essential. Step 1. Remove these 10 screws shown on the diagram. So let's go ahead and remove them. Then finally you can open the case. The first thing you need to do here is disconnect the battery and pull the cable back so it is not closed by itself, causing you to get an electric shock. Now we need to remove these two screws. Use the normal Phillips head screwdriver. So this is a bit tricky. Apple has glued these screws into place. You can trust on Apple for that. Once you're done, you can use this little plastic pull tab to remove the HDD from its enclosure. Be careful and take your time as there's a ribbon cable attached to it. This is seriously the trickiest part of this procedure. Once again, take your time and then it's out. Now, you need to transfer these screws from the old HDD onto your new hard disk or SSD. For this, you're going to need to use the T6 screwdriver. So just transfer these screws onto your new SSD. Oops, I was looking at the camera over there. And then fit the new SSD back into its enclosure. First, let's have a look at the SSD itself. This is a crucial 1TB SSD, link in the description below. Connect it to the ribbon cable, fill it back in the enclosure, and then screw it back into place. And there, it's done. It really is this simple. Connect the battery cable, and then fit the case back on. Make sure you put the screws in their correct positions. Now let's look at how you can restore your Mac. Hold Command R and Power buttons, go to Disk Utility first, and format a new disk to macOS Extended Journal or APFS if it's available. Head back to macOS Utilities and click on Restore from Time Machine Backup or reinstall Mac OS if you want to install a fresh version. Now let's take a look at HDD versus SSD boot up times. HDD on the left, SSD on the right. As you can see, the SSD booted up in 21 seconds. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you found this video to be helpful.